Welcome back to the Michael Brooks Show. Joining us now is returning champion, Malaika Jabali. She is a writer, an attorney, and an activist with opinions. <laughs> Malaika, opinion. thanks for being back. Thanks for having me again. So the last time you were on, and this is definitely a patron treat, you hit us with some Biggie impressions I don't in the post game. I don't think so. Can you just? <laughs> I got a roll. You know the improv concept <laughs> no. of say yes. <laughs> it's been a, it's been a while. All right, just all right. Off my improv chops. <laughs> so, anyways, Malika did some great Biggie impressions, and uh, we were going to follow up with more, but you actually requested that we tee off on Beto O'Rourke instead. Yeah. Now, we have some sound of him, but why do you? I, I kind of. For me, he might be the least likable of anybody running for president, but why do you find him so annoying? I'm curious. I mean, obviously it's, he just, he's not coherent. So I, half the time I don't even understand what he's saying. Right. And so I think that typifies like the state of politics right now where Nancy Pelosi can just do a clap and everyone is just like falling all over themselves. <laughs> he is like the epitome of the clap, but we just get a lot more. Sorry. He's the clap hand as a man. Okay, gestures. wait, no, let me see this actually. But I feel like okay, the hands, yeah. Yeah. So they're more that's jerky though. His, Your like, hands are still like cohe you're still doing like he does a lot of this. He's very noodly. More <laughs> he does flailing. Like, he's flail that's what's incredible is that what passes for charisma in 2019 in the United States is a guy who is doing literally a West Wing TED Talk mashup with arms like Gumby. And people are like, this is fucking like Kennedy. All right, let's check. <laughs> let's check out Beto O'Rourke. Well, maybe he'll maybe he'll sway you here, Malika. This was him. He, he has a vision that he's talking <laughs> about at the Weed of People Summit. See, she's already laughing, even though we're just setting <laughs> up the clip. Much. All right, here is. Are we ready for this, Matt? Yeah, I'm ready. All right, let's check out some. <laughs> All right, Beto O'Rourke. I'll sign an executive order on the first day in office <laughs> requiring every single cabinet secretary to hold a town hall meeting like this every single month <laughs> to listen to you and to be accountable to you so that we deliver for you. What are like we a change of opinion? What are we delivering? I don't know. Like, there's just no, no coherence. I don't know what he's talking about. We're delivering. Oh, what are we delivering? Risk we're coming? delivering enthusiasm. We're delivering hope. We're delivering Change. innovation. Change. Art. And the fact it's is, like, is stop that stealing we have my to shit, leave white for boy. our children a better day than we had today. You literally are doing an Obama impression, is yeah. your Beto impression, which in a way is the perfect That's which is how you impression. do a Beto impression. Yeah, it's yeah. too flattering to Beto, though. Like, uh, yeah, he's I, like I, in these times, th there's exactly something about right. him. That it's like he can hear. It's like he's got a little earbud that is playing the like inspirational music. They're the gonna chariot put on it. of fire music yeah. is running in his like head. The, if we don't at grasp thought. this opportunity right now, we may never get another chance to grasp it. It's just <laughs> <laughs> The opportunity for your kids and mine yesterday and tomorrow. And yesterday. He had an opportunity yesterday. Do you, yeah. <laughs> it's like, Do you guys know those, um, like those black posters that have like the inspirational quote mm -hmm. on the bottom, or just like motivation? Mm -hmm. that's yes, better. that's him as a person. Yeah. Also, like, I just as in terms of like baseless speculation, I don't. I've been in some environments where there was a lot of cocaine use, a lot, and I'm not saying like, <laughs> I'm not saying that. And in some ways, he's way more positive than a typical. Although, he his campaign stump is like the first hour of a party where a lot of coke is going around. Like when people are in a good mood and they're talking about business projects that will never happen. Mm -hmm. He's like in that mode. Oh shit! You just um, triggered not from cocaine, but similar things. <laughs> just the wholesome part. All right, we have more Beto. Well, I think it's interesting that he feels forced to say things like reference the first progressive era. Like he has some sort of like somehow the political moment is getting through. So here's him talking about sort of like going back to Teddy Roosevelt. All right. Well, wait, wait. It's OK. So let's can we give him a fair hearing now? It sounds like he's talking about something real. Malika. Let's, let's check this let's out. Check it out. All right. Yeah. Let, let's let's uh, go roll the, the tape. Let's <laughs> exactly. We've never had these kinds of challenges in the lifetimes of anyone in this auditorium. Pause it. Honestly, too much hand movement. I'm not even being petty now. Like legitimately, whatever his thing is, is working for some people. He's raised a lot of money, but this is objectively too much hand movement. 
when I first started going on TV, I had to watch because yeah. I use yeah. too much hand yeah. movement. Like it's right. it's an actual thing, and he needs to stop. Hey, RFK was bad at when he first got on the stump too. So. You know what? If if this guy came out and quoted Aeschylus and had yeah. multiple members of his family be killed, I would cut him more slack. <laughs> Anyone in this auditorium, regardless of how young or how old you are, oh, this, this economy, this this unprecedented this concentration of wealth and power and privilege, we haven't seen since the last true progressive era that Senator Klobuchar referred to that produced Teddy Roosevelt and some extraordinary progressive reforms. A healthcare system where people are dying of diabetes and the flu and curable cancers in the year 2019 in the wealthiest, the most powerful country on the face of the planet. Now he's copying Bernie. I don't know. This is like the tag cloud that you see in blogs and it's just words. And then, <laughs> you mean like one of those, <laughs> those like projections from like what were the words used at the seminar yeah. most this week? Yeah, He's progressive cancer. Yeah. <laughs> that's how you. That's, that's how, yeah, that's, that's how you. Him. That's how you write a Beto speech. Is you get that word cloud, and then you have one of Beto staffers like draw lines through the the words yeah. you can say like without getting search. in trouble. It's <laughs> just like Israel. Ooh, like no, 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 don't, that, don't, yeah, don't yeah. stay away from yeah, that erase one. Erase that shit. You go right to progressive era. Yeah. That we can that's safe. Elon Teddy. Omar. Yeah, no. Teddy Roosevelt. Yeah, Teddy Roosevelt. Diabetes. Diabetes. <laughs> you know, and I want to say too that like Obama, obviously, I'm not. I just have different politics than Obama. But like Obama would give a speech that had a structure to it. And its conclusion would be like, yeah, I don't buy that. But it was like, yeah, we started here, now we're going here. And the conclusion is we should talk to pharma lobbyists or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to be petty. But this dude only does conclusions. Like you need to build up for your payoff. You can't like you have you have to have the 10 minutes behind you to be like, and that is why mm -hmm. I know you can't come out and be like, I believe this so fundamental. Like, what do you believe? What? what are you talking about? What's the this? What? I don't know. That just leaves him very open to make it whatever he wants to be, which I feel like is a part of like the issue. I think that's part of the strategy is you don't want to really pin down your precise policies so you can be a little bit more flexible. Because so they're the bad. Because yeah. they're bad. Like anytime he gets specific, they're not good, right? Like yeah. anytime you push him, he's like, "Well, <laughs> yeah, I don't support Medicare for all." Like yeah. basically. Yeah. I find Buttigieg more annoying than him, though. I actually haven't paid as much attention to that. I just find why people like him annoying. Like no, there was I a piece that came out in Jackman today about how like oh, but yeah. Uh, the woman that you keep saying we should have on the by show, Eliza Featherstone. Yeah. We should have her on the show. I like this piece because she's just like. All of the media coverage about this guy is just that he's smart. Mm -hmm. Like this, this like the the return of like the cult of smartness, right? Like it doesn't matter what. I mean, he is more substantive than Beto for sure, because he actually says some things. But everything that people write about him are just like he speaks Norwegian. Yeah, he I went have to heard Harvard. That. That's cool. Or see, <laughs> that's that's, cool. that's what I know. But is that cool though? To speak I, think Norwegian? We, I think we need to return to a time where it's not cool. Michael's getting very anti-intellectual. I'm very, since. yes, I am. It oh, started, it's not like you're anti-Norwegian. I'm like, what's your beef with, with that? It's a shithole country. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Just, I have no, actually, in fact, I have a lot of patrons from Norway, no joke. I have no beef with Norway. But it started with the scientists. I don't like scientists, and now it's like expanding out to all How's that working out? Like, Great. Okay. That's fine. Cool. I don't get burdened by like mm, vaccinations don't cause autism. I yeah. don't want to hear that shit. But climate change. Well, climate change I believe in because it instinctually makes sense to me. So I don't need the science. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trusting my gut on that one. <laughs> climate change, cool. Vaccinations, not cool. Right. And then All the right. HIV AIDS link, we'll see. <laughs> TBD. <laughs> yeah, TBD, exactly. <laughs> It would actually be really funny to be like the legitimately like anti-science left-wing pundit show. <laughs> Just like I'm going to interview Tabo and Becky's herbalist. It kind of sounds AIDS lucrative, to be honest. It actually does sound pretty lucrative. 
You've just watched a Michael Brooks show video, and you can watch all of our full main live shows every Tuesday night at around 7 p.m. Eastern time, and subscribe to get all of the clips you want. We're covering the globe. We're focusing on international relations, the intellectual dark web. We're having fun. We're doing deep dives with a lot of amazing guests. Of course, become a patron for the whole thing at patreon.com slash TMBS, or subscribe to this YouTube channel and help us keep growing and get that content out there. Subscribe below.